Surgeon Dr. Ahmed Gilani is there and today I will show you how to give the spinal anesthesia in 3 minutes. So let's come to the operation theater and you will learn it easily. Uh, first of all you will prepare the set, the all the instruments which are required to give the local anesthesia. Then you will paint the area, you will paint more area as compared to the required area for the purpose of antisepsis. Then after that you will fill the syringe with the Bupiva cane SP. 2 ml, 1 ml contain 7.5 mg and adult dose is 2 ml 15 mg. Bupiva cane SP, it's a specifically made for the spinal anesthesia, it's hyperbaric. It will go upside up to the level of the civis sternum at the level of T10. Isobaric and hyperbaric is also there which is used at the site of local anesthesia. In case of spinal anesthesia, you need effect above the level of umbilicus at least at the level of zephy sternum at the level of T10. This bupiva cane has the higher bericity as compared to the CSF so it will go upward. Now you will mark the site between the two posterior superior ilex spines also known as, as the two fours line. Basically it's an imaginary line between the two posterior superior ilex spines are the ilex crests. It's the point between the L4 and L5 in which uh, you will give spinal anesthesia. Now you will put spinal needle number 25 into that space and you will push ahead. You will push ahead until a clear CSF fluid will come out, it will dribble out. So in the video you are clearly seeing that clear fluid is coming out. So in the close up view I am showing you, you can see the drop at the end of this spinal needle which is a crystal clear, it's CSF. Now you attach your needle lock and you will give negative suction. A free flow must be there on negative suction otherwise you will not inject spinal anesthesia dose. So now you will push this spinal anesthesia very slowly. In the middle you will again check for the free flow on negative suction. Over full dose of spinal anesthesia has been given. Now put the patient in Trendelenburg position at angle of 15 degrees. It takes almost 2 to 3 minutes for its full effect. Now the sympathectomy has been done. All the three systems autonomic, motor and the sensory has been blocked. So in the autonomic nervous system you will check the vitals blood pressure will go down. In the motor system, you will ask the patient uh, to lift the leg up. He will be unable to lift the leg as motor system is blocked. And finally, you will check sensory system with the help of LSS forceps. And the ideal uh, stimulus for the sensory checkup, it's the surgical incision. And finally, we have done it. Thank you so much uh, for watching the video.